find product links below and hundreds more videos on my channel. Hi there guys, welcome back. So this is the Manfrotto 561 BHDV. I wanted to do a full review about this, but I don't have time. I've got too much work and I have to return it. So I can't really wait with it. Uh, please excuse the noise from outside. There's some builders there. Um, I wanted to talk about the issues with this, why I'm returning it. First of all, this thing, it was an issue with the older version as well. This thing comes undone on its own and it's too short to actually really nicely grip it. it I just find that it just sort of gets in my way and it's really annoying and I don't use it and it sucks. It looks nice, but I do really don't like the design of it. Um, secondly, this has been redesigned, the older version. This is my second unit and I've used other people's units as well. They were great. I actually really love them. Uh, this unit is not great at all. Uh, the 560 BHDV, the smaller unit from this, there's a test on my YouTube. Uh, I thought that one was just completely terrible. Uh, this one, however, is just below usable. So uh, some of the parts are still good quality, however, there's too many issues. Um, first of all, they've added a counterweight system, a counterbalance system to the head, and it's too strong for use with just something like a camera. So as even just aiming down there, it's too strong, it's pushing back up. As soon as you let go, it's pushing back up. It's definitely pushing far too much when you're at that sort of, you know, if you wanted to aim at the sky, you're sort of pushing against the counterbalance system, which is really not great. Uh, another issue which was on the previous one as well. Um, first of all, I had to adjust this little knob with, um, I had to undo it and adjust it, which uh, it should come perfectly adjusted from the factory. Um, the plate won't come undone forwards. Very annoying, especially with some rig setups that you might want to attach to this. The monopod head, the, fire, the 701, does not is not able to spin from here. It has no pan. The pan is only at the bottom, and I'll get to the issues with the bottom in a second. Now I've used, I think, every Manfrotto mono, uh, every Manfrotto head, um, the video heads, anyways. The 504 HD, the 503, 502. Um, I've went to a shop and tried them. Tried them with a slider. Was never impressed at all with the larger versions. Um, and uh, the 701, which was their small one, was actually the one that I liked. I actually found that to have the nicest fluid motion. And um, that's no longer the case, it's still quite fluid, however the counterbalance is a bit of an issue, um, and the fact that if you buy this for the price, for the £200 price tag, you cannot use this with anything else. You can't take this head and put it on a slider or a tripod or whatever. Now, down to the bottom, there are issues with adjusting this. You've got two parts to that. You've got the little red part, which is a fluid cartridge, or what they say is fluid. Um, so it's sort of a smooth uh, moving um, bit. And then below that, you've got the uh, joint, which um, allows for these movements, the little silver ball joint. And that's where the problem is. Um, the silver board joint is adjustable. You've got three little screws and they don't work well at all. I'm not sure if you've been noticing in this video, but uh, if I try and keep this steady, um, one of the issues is that it does these little bumps. It's sort of like your body naturally moves very slightly and it's kind of, sort of almost impossible to not move completely when you're holding a monopod like this. And um, eventually you'll move enough and it will go cook like that. And uh, it's especially difficult if you're in somewhere with a lot of movement, you know, you look away from the camera for a second and you've definitely lost the shot. It definitely has sort of, I'm not sure if it's, by the way, if the audio is going through to the camera, but it's creaking. Every time it does that, it creaks, especially if I were to try and move. And right now it's set to the middle, right? So it's not too, not too tight down there at the ball joint and not too loose. And it's still not usable. Too loose, as soon as you try and pan, it sort of slips and it sucks, and then um, too loose, it won't stand up on its own either. Uh, and right now it will stand up on its own, um, but uh, then if it's too tight, then the whole thing becomes sort of wobbly in a weird way, and it's and it completely creaks the entire time. So um, definitely not a great system anymore at all. I don't know if they've changed the design at the bottom as well. It looks the same. Uh, but it does not work, work well anymore for me. Uh, so um, this will be returned. I'm no longer happy with this unit. It used I used to say I actually I absolutely love this uh, this monopod. 
that's no longer the case. If you can get hold of one of the older units, they still have the same name. It's the 561 BHDV, uh, which is too bad. They've redesigned it and kept the same name. Um, but uh, yeah, if you can get hold of one of the older units, that's great. Uh, maybe call some sellers up, ask them if they have the version without the counterbalance in the head. Or maybe go to a shop, try it out, see if it's the old one. Or maybe even if it's the new one, maybe you will like it. Um, again, some people like stuff that I don't. A lot of people do like the Manfrotto video heads. The fact that I don't like them is just personal opinion. What I will be using instead is this tiny little thing that, you know, some people will look at it and go, what? You know, that's, that's you know, a little, uh, you know, not something you would consider professional. But having tried it as both a monopod and a tripod, I absolutely love it. It's, uh, it's really tiny, it uh, costs way less than this thing, and um, as a monopod it's actually just as stable and has less issues and doesn't creak. And uh, as a monopod, because it's got three legs, then it's eliminating, because uh, with most monopods, the only real issue there is, is sideways shake. And that is eliminating, because it's got three legs, nice and close together, when used as a monopod, it's eliminating that shake, and that's actually quite lovely. Um, so uh, apart from that, using it for sit-down interviews, using it for travel, using it for time lapses, when I don't want to carry around uh, something even as big as this, which by the way is a lot heavier, um, then uh, yeah, this little tiny little tripod actually does the job. And um, I actually really like it, and it's actually something that uh, I find really nice to work with compared to this. And of course, it's not a fluid head, so you won't be able to do sort of a sideways move, but I actually am not that impressed with the moves I can get with this. Um, the fact that you have one joint at the bottom and then uh, one joint at the top being pan uh, at the bottom and then tilt at the top, you have to sort of move the entire system uh, to sort of do a pan and tilt to follow, let's say if you want to go like that and do a move like that, it just feels weird and it doesn't feel natural and the move isn't as fluid and isn't as stable and I don't like it anymore. So I hope my opinion about this has been useful to you. Um, again, this is just my opinion, maybe I'm wrong, um, but uh, I definitely would not recommend this. Uh, there's too many, way too many issues here and um, I can't, I can't recommend it. However, some people do like uh, the Manfrotto stuff. So um, I'd recommend you just try it yourself maybe, see if you like it. Otherwise, there will be a link below to the different tests with that little um, tiny uh, travel tripod. Um, so thanks for watching guys. I uh, hope this wasn't too long and I hope this was useful to you. And don't forget to subscribe because I will have more awesome content coming up soon. So uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys, bye.